So the next one is the, the one we had on the list was the, um, the next steps on reference types in the working groups. Um, so Amy had 99 and you know, there was this TOB conversation today. Just to know, Vincent, I guess I'll toss it to you. Sure, sure, sure. Well, yeah, the, the next steps uh, uh, on that TOB channel, which um, the, yeah, so I realized that a couple of you were not, a couple of you that were actually on the TOB were not in that TOB channel. So let's go to this. This is a noisy hour at the house, so I'm sorry. Is that your dog or your kid? I don't even know which. <laughs> We're concerned about <laughs> it, I, it, it. It varies from day to day. That's a kid. Okay. Um, the work next steps, and even even like following up on kind of the uh, email thread that. Um, I think I'm almost declaring email bankruptcy. I've got like so many things in my inbox, like all, all the OCI stuff goes in my personal inbox. So um, I keep like, oh yeah, I'll leave that in there because I'll get back to it and then I never do, but still. Um, next steps, what I think, um, and this is like obviously me, not not some, any, any, any kind of position of authority, but um, on like the, reference types and otherwise like kind of like the discussions and ways to do proof of concepts as well as like as we're circling in on the conversations the review and that, that pull request that Amy linked there to give a, a review of that TOB pull 99. Um, I Basically I, I was, I'm two ways about how best to to just like make a smooth transition because I, I do I do want to see kind of a table that's just like a referenceable table of like if you encounter you know if as a client or registry implementation you encounter certain media types like if you encounter this media type go to these docs to know what to do with it like case in point the the encrypted layers like I see a media type how do I handle it go to these references. So I, th I do think a table like that should exist, though I think it would be ex explicitly clear to folks to see something like, you know, whether it's like um, like Amshek uh, proposed, and I haven't caught up on the a, a bit of conversation y'all had after I posted uh, Samuel and Steve. But, you know, even if it was something like SIG artifacts or WG artifacts, if we just like rename this and like kind of like make it clear that this is like a working group, like we are working through something and it has very clear implications on um, what is currently an image spec and distribution spec. And we're kind of like working it out so we can have like a working implementation of proof of concept. And then we can like. Is that a puppy? Out. That's a puppy, not a kid. You got to bring them and put them in your lap because they're just too cute. To, to yeah, that's it. fair. It, it's a kiddo. Okay. Um, it's, it's still it's probably a, cute. Uh, thir thirteen month old. It's been with us for a little while, so. I'm guessing um, eighteen months. <laughs> if we 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 foster, so she okay. she's been with us for about nine months. So, um, the. Okay, so, so stuff like working group artifacts that has very clear implications of things that like overlap with what's in distribution spec, but we're still figuring out what those exact changes are and they overlap with what currently is in like image spec and we're figuring out what those changes are and those kind of working groups will, will those kind of working groups will lead hopefully the, the kind of clear conversation like we had during the image spec grooming of like, there's this manifest concept. There's this manifest concept that clearly is its own spec that's not related to image spec at all. You know, like maybe there's another place for a conversation around the spec to exist, but it, it was born out of the working group, if that makes sense. So initially first step, could be as simple as just renaming artifacts to like 
SIG artifacts, WG artifacts. I don't, I'm, I'm indifferent about like the prefix, but then um, as, as the whole 99 is approaching, like going through its iterations, that it, it aligns with that. So we still have kind of an open governance place to work out those proof of concepts. I think we're talking two things. One is a concrete uh, example, and then there's just the larger, how do we do incubations in, in OCI versus, you know, it's the model of you do something outside and try to bring it in, which is what, you know, the Docker, the, basically the Docker implementation was, and then we, you know, brought it into OCI, and that we being proverbial, we, I wasn't here then, uh, and try to, you know, turn that into a spec. Um, or do you incubate under OCI so that it naturally evolves and things don't have to change? So I, I think, you know, that's the larger thing that we're trying to do with the overall working groups and what's in 99. For the concrete example, this one, it, you know, it's interesting because I think there is a lot of confusion around people's perceptions around what, what it is being proposed and how it could be done. And part of that needs some clarity for conversations so that we can solve some of that ambiguity. The, the question I kind of have is, you know, how can we move forward? Because we, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time. Um, we have to move forward. Like I, I, I and um, we have it, we can do both. Like I've said, maybe we just do this in parallel. We'll go, you know, go forward and do the project and then we'll continue to do this in parallel working under OCI and we can do a, keep a PR going or we can do the incubation under OCI if we can you know, kind of unblock that work. I think the question specific to this one is like Artifacts is a proof project. It's a thing that people are already using. Um, there's the implementers, Guide. I forgot the exact name of the URL, but basically, there's a very specific, very specific doc that says, "Here's how you use um, the manifest types and uh, to implement your your artifact type." Um, I said manifest types. Well, it is manifest types and media types. Um, so that one's concrete. So I really wouldn't want to revert that one back to a working group. What we're talking about is adding. Well, that then then if if it basically. At some of those conversations and links that have been shared broadly, of course, what I was talking about, being able to like preserve the permalink, like redirects, the GitHub redirects on for some of those links that have been shared broadly. I don't, I, yes, I don't want to revert anything particularly like if there is a table of like, here's how to use these different media types. That's those, those there's kind of a split, split decision there. If there is like a working group thing that has implications on what is distribution and image spec right now, then that needs to be a working group. And if basically what's the lesser evil of renaming and preserving redirects or just splitting off and leaving what's in artifacts, like pruning down what's in artifacts to be that kind of like media type, you know, reference of what people are using. And then here's this other working group that's actually having an impact on um, the kind of like image manifest or you know generic manifest and distribution pieces of it, distribution spec API stuffs. I, I saw you going that, that if we go back to the challenges that we've been having, it's the you know people look at the artifact stuff and and you know it, it, you know, most of the registries have implemented it, so the, it's there is broad adoption. At the same token, there gets a couple of conversations that create a lot of anxiety for folks. Is that there is it a spec? Is it released? So to take something that and we keep on saying, look, it it you, it is done. It's it's there. It doesn't actually have a release because today it's really defining a behavior of what's defined in the existing specs that are there. What we're saying is we've learned from that, and now we need to add new capabilities that are not coupled to the container image format. Um, and we do want to in incubate a new spec. If by taking artifacts and taking it back to a, another working group or, or reverting the name, that takes away that confidence that people have of what, what exists today. I'm, I'm trying to keep, preserve stability around what is what already exists today what new things we want to add. So the, the thought process just working through that conversation was artifact stays where it is. We close PR 29 and we create another repo that's WG artifact spec. 
And that then is where, you know, this new spec can get incubated. Um, I, I don't think it goes to the image. I do think, I, I've always thought that distribution and artifacts and the spec that we're talking about would converge, but not everybody's there. So that's why we're keeping them separate. The idea is that there is a new spec of uh, a new manifest, at least the way it's thinking today, there's a new manifest that's a little more generic and there's a, re a new API for finding the references. Um, those two fundamental things are specs that we wanna outline and incubate to see how they work. And I'm just trying to do that in a way that doesn't destabilize the people that are already feel like they're using the artifact stuff that exists today. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, then uh, I think the output of the work group dash artifacts dash spec. Let's just take that for a second. Let's go flash forward. The assumption is that will go somewhere. The output that it, of artifacts slash spec. What? Well, whatever if this, whatever this new repo that we create, and not rename the one. Like, let's leave the one in stability of where it is. Let's create a new one, and then that new one. The output of that. Look, if we knew exactly where it was going to land, we wouldn't be asking for a working group. We'd say, "Hey, let's just approve this thing. It's done." The whole point is. We want to innovate, incubate, and, and churn. And we've already made a bunch of churns and a bunch of changes because we went and through implementation, we found quirks that we wanted to change the change the design. I don't know where the thing's going to end up. So rather than assume what the result will be, if we have a repo that we just say, look, when this repo is baked to a point where we're comfortable, then we can figure out where should it go? Should it go into artifacts? Should it go into distribution? Should it go into a new CAS spec? I don't know. I know what I know now. I don't know. We don't know what, we know what we'll learn by completing the work. Okay. Um, So you don't, you're not in favor of renaming, but instead have the different split off. <clears throat> okay. so we can decide later that it does, you know, the, the files from this new repo might go into the artifacts project and maybe the artifacts project does get renamed spec. I don't know, maybe the stuff goes into distribution and the artifacts spec gets folded into distribution. I, you know, those are some options we've discussed. I'm not ready to say that those are the options we should do. Those are just some examples, which is why, you know, I, I think we just need to let it play out. Yeah, but, and this is one of the reasons why I'm excited about the, uh, you know, the coming, getting some some language and verbiage and procedure around enabling folks to have these kind of working groups or whatever, so that we can have proof of concepts done under the OCI umbrella kind of an open governance model because that is very important for a lot of like people's work and cross company collaboration because uh, again like OCI I think they're two separate Vince I think they're two separate things I think we've got some structural changes that are being requested to be made which really mm -hmm. isn't a work group kind of thing and then we've got people who want to do extensions to the existing specs and that's more of a work group kind of thing right yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, in general, being able to foster this kind of proof of concept under the OCI umbrella, rather than the 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 path that OCI has typically been in of, like, it happens somewhere, you know, like, somebody somewhere innovates, and it becomes an industry standard, and then we, you know, nail it down, um, that, that we, we've kind of left the current model of allowing those proof of concepts to happen under OCI's umbrella. Uh, and a, a okay, little bit so, of the, the inability to do the proof of concepts is around some of the structural limits that we have in, currently in the image spec, for example, today. One of the things that Steve just brought up was something that Steven, you know, Steve brought up um, 
over the weekend, which was, you know, one of the things we'd like to have is, is a common cast model, right? Uh, and if we had that, and we thought we did an image, but image was a little restricted and very focused, focused on, on the image specification. If we had a cast model specification, it was more like a reference and then image built on top of that, which it already does, right? But then that generic cast was a, a little bit more extensible to be able to support things like artifacts as well, where artifacts aren't really a container image. So why would you want to have a, con a container image config in it? It just doesn't make sense for an artifact to also be a, a container image. Um, and there's other dependencies and, and requirements that the artifacts guys want that I don't think the image spec team would want because they're trying to build an image spec, not a artifact spec, right? But if you have a cast that's common, which was Steve-O's recommendation, you know, not, not in, in a little discussion, but, you know, if we had a little cast, then we could build these other two specs on top and those would be working groups they would be off trying to, you know, prove a concept things that were, you know, more, more interesting, but still kept to the same basic OCI, you know, programming while we're trying to do in the registries and the clients. Um, and the visibility, I mean, to your point, Vincent, it's like a lot of these things incubate in private, a couple of people, a couple of companies go off in private, go build something, and then ta-da, here it is to the industry, and, and now it tries to get reconciled we're trying to do this completely in the open so that there's complete visibility and it isn't a ta-da moment. Um, and yep. maybe it's a little too idealistic. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying. Um, so There's a place for both models, but yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then how would you... propose we button this up because I think you know when I was kind of surfacing the idea or welcome back Stephen. Um Stephen, I was saying nice things about you. <laughs> it said the meeting oh, was ended by the host. Yeah, I could I could happen to me they, too. I got I, I got literally tried to get somewhere. rid of you, Stephen, specifically. That's all. Oh I um, assume so. But you, um, you won't get me this time, V back. <laughs> it won't have been for those meddling kids. Steve, um, if you come back and look at the video later, if you get a chance, if you, you know, all of a sudden you see people come back and Vincent's there, like his hand on his head. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's like, oh, now I'm missing it. <laughs> Steven, just a heads up. I did, I did briefly mention the, the concept you, you brought up about having a common cast model reference type spec. Um, oh, that, that's, that's, that's awesome. That way I don't have to uh, propose it. <laughs> well, I, I proposed it in such a way that it was your fault. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. I'm not. I didn't really. <laughs> so the, 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 I guess the, this artifact, artifact type authors, you know, can continue referencing this way of using or specifying different media types. So that's like the purpose or whatever of like the artifacts repo. So in that sense, leave it like it is. And then if we do just, you know, a discussion among T of E or otherwise to say this look, you know, creating a new repo for a working group, um, if that's not putting the cart before the horse that like now we're talking about effectively, effectively, like you said, the next step, like artifacts is did, did part of it, you know, like its initial thing, but we're talking about a next step you know, does that need to wait on the full working group model then to like propose that whole thing, I guess is kind of my question then. So if we're not just renaming, like kind of like continuing on the purpose of directly what kind of like artifacts as a working group um, and success criteria that it's like fully met what it set out to do, like done, um, then it, to me, it sounds like you just put but, but pro, proposing back that we effectively are now waiting to fully finalize the working group model to then propose a working group for this uh, reference type extension or reference types as a spec. So 
what it that was, looks that, like. That was the equation for Steve, Steve uh, uh, more Steve uh, Glasker, uh, specifically. The v versus pH, yeah. I, look, I, I, I'm not trying to make this more complicated than that. I realize it's already complicated. So I'm looking for the path of least resistance. And, you know, from my cousin, he's like, our clock is ticking. Like, I, I, and I don't want that to be the pressure on OCI. It's just, but we have, to, we've been, you know, this has been a, a very monthly long decision. So if there is a, a, a way that we can unblock it, you know, the, today, this week, then awesome. Let's, let's figure out how to do that. Um, if we can't, then we can do the parallel effort. We'll create this, you know, this other spec, this artifact spec and, and work there. And then in parallel, as OCI figures it out, we can figure out to converge it up. If it's a day after we've done the work, if it's a month after, or if it's never, like all of those are okay options. I just, I, I don't, I'm looking for definitive guidance on which way we should go about it with time being a constraint. Yeah, so the way I'm kind of seeing this is, um, so so just like a long, long time ago, when we were working on this, we noticed that the problems solved by distributing containers were like, would solve other people's distributions issues. Uh, but nobody believed us at the time. And so we just kind of built it that way and then made it do containers pretty good and then turned it into OCI. Now, uh, with all this working group stuff, if you really look at artifacts um, and you look at it through kind of a different lens, it was a working group. And it was a working group that figured out like, yes, indeed, our theories about common co content distribution primitives were, were well founded and we had some success on it. And now we got some people pounding the table to turn that into a spec. And um, the, I mean, the thing is called open containers. Um, and so uh, now like the word containers is a flexible word um, in that uh, it, it typically refers, I mean, in our context, it refers to the Linux containers or like process containers or whatever you want to call them. Um, but they could also be containers for things like artifacts. Um, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. But uh, the, the, the real shift that I think we need to make in OCI in general uh, to, to support this though is, is kind of distancing ourselves from the thing that we call process containers to containers of artifacts and distribution and make OCI about that distribution. Is that the distribution of general content? Now, is that the shift we wanna make as OCI? Maybe, it probably we should. I mean, like we don't, like there's nothing, I can't think of anything that's, that's content addressable, has security and signing and uh, a whole bunch of people who wanna work on it. Like that's, a, that's kind of a rare thing to see in the community. So maybe that's something that OCI moves into. Now that said, um, I think uh, the taking the artifacts project and turning it into an artifact spec, I think uh, that does serve a near-term purpose very well. Um, but I, I, I think that some of the, um, uh, the criticism that you have of the current image spec as not supporting other artifacts will end up happening with the artifact spec. One of those is like, what if I'm a notary developer? And I think I brought this up in, in, a, in, in, a, in the artifact maintainers chat. Um, you know, what if a notary developer wants to do something, what if they want to work on their own stuff and not be inside of the artifact spec and have their own release cycle outside of the artifact spec? Or what if, what if there's a new thing that we didn't come up with that they want to work on? So we kind of need to like figure out how we can shift the project into that distribution mindset, but then also at the same time, allow these, um, you know, build this distribution system in such a way that it's open to extension and that uh, new implementations don't need to ask our permission. They can go and do it and make it work and say, hey, this thing works. And then it's open for specification. And to me, that's that would be building the infrastructure uh, for the future of OCI. Now, uh, how we do something that gets you, Mr. Lasker, and your team unblocked um, and the hard work of the artifact maintainers, um, while also kind of, hey, let's go, let's make this shift. Let's lean into this a little bit and make this shift. How can we do that without making irreversible decisions on a short timetable that we're not happy with? That's what I don't know about. But those are the like the, the pieces, the balls in the air that, that, that I'm kind of looking at right now. 
um, that I I don't have a, a great um, handle on on what exactly we should do and, and, and keep everybody happy at the same time. That's a, is that, is a, that a fair? Is no, it's fair? totally fair. And if you so the I think the approach that we are trying to do is to make it very general, right? It's it's it shouldn't know anything about note like it, the reference type stuff, which is just the new piece of the artifact stuff. Is, would support notary, support cosine, supports SPDX, Cyclone DX, you know, the things that we know of. To your point, but it, it shouldn't know about any one of those particulars. What it knows is what are the common requirements so that we build that general general generality. Yeah. Um, and because we have, you know, this, this time constraint and then the larger goals, if you look at the way PR29 was set up is we did identify this gap or the, the challenge so we have, you know, you always have the three, the three sides of the triangle, right? Time, resources, and features, or quality, time, features. Quality will never be a viable, you know, a, a variable. We always want quality to be there. So we have, if time is fixed, then we can only do certain features. And if we really relax time, we can do more features. So what we want to do is say, we know what we need to do for this fall for the security, for security work that we, we all have to ship, right? The executive order fits us all. Um, and then we know with the larger things. So it's more of a scoping thing of like, all right, what we, we know what we know today and we don't know what we don't know about today. So but we know we need to deliver. Let's scope things that we will ship for this summer, call it a draft, call it anything other than a, a final release or whatever we wanna do. And then as we're going through that and getting more requirements um, from other artifact types, from other scenarios that we discover, that we roll it into phase two. Um, so that's that is how we were trying to balance uh, those two things. Um, and to your point, like I just I, to the open container thing, I view this as a Kodak moment. Like, like Kodak decided they were going to stick where they were, and they're gone. They don't even know what's branded Kodak anymore. Whereas Adobe, like Adobe, was known for like graphics software and stuff, and now they're doing ML. Like this is our chance to kind of evolve the brand to support a broader things that I love hearing that you guys have thought about this earlier on. Like I, I have no aspirations to think of something we thought of something brand new. It's like, we just like to see it move forward so that we can leverage this capa these general capabilities. So that's kind of how we were thought about releasing that tension between the larger thing that we wanna do versus the thing that we could do now and learn from. Right, it's like there, there's a lot yeah, of value yeah. shifting something to learn from it. Yeah, and, and and I'm not saying we we don't make the shift. In fact, like I, I think we we have to make the shift. Um, I think if we make it all under that one specification, though, it's going to be the same difficulties that we're having today. And that's and and I know your your timetable probably doesn't map pulling because like if you okay, so we have a tree, right? And we have like artifact spec and image spec. We're talking about an artifact spec kind of references the image spec and the artifact to find a few like other pieces of it. We need to like rotate some stuff up out of the image spec and then build a bunch of sibling specs to the image spec. And to me, yeah, that, that so. sounds, is that, that's, I mean, that's, I think we have to do it, right? Like- I think long-term there's a refactoring, just, but, yeah. but I, I want to relax on one piece. Like if you look at 29, it was never set for anything more than a draft. Like we recognize that this is an incubation that we don't know what the end result will be. So I think whatever we used, because you know, we have enough done now that we know what we can ship and we can learn from, but I know that it, I, would, I would like to see the change. Like every, all of our engineering teams and the mutual registry teams panic because we start storing stuff forever. And you know, how do you shift? So we need to deal with that, don't get me wrong. But I think we can take what we've learned today rev it and then evolve it like i that's why having what it's called wg or something dash something spec don't really care but i that's why i want to leave the artifact stuff that exists today stable nothing's changed guys it's great hey here's the new stuff that oci is evolving to it is a working group it is a draft it's whatever hint that suggests this isn't you know Look, distribution was out there for how many years and it wasn't finalized. So I don't know what we call it. And then we rev it. We, we make revs as we learn. And revs, by the way, revs as we learn might be, hey, these things move to different repos also. Like I, I'm not making any conclusions around what this thing will look like next year.
your point if it wants to be CAS. Like, and I, and I just also, I, I believe that the refactoring kind of thing that we talked about with image, but everything that we've done to date is really, really 100% focused on having absolutely no impact to the image supply, image container image supply chain, uh, tool chain rather, that goes on. Like everything we've done from the new manifest type and everything is to make sure we have no impact on that so we can learn along the side and then kind of figure out based on what we're learning now, how should we refactor uh, some of the intertwining of the specs? Okay, so with that, um, that's kind of, I do, I do, that's, that's the massaging or whatever that I was, I was thinking of, like stuff that is effectively living right now. It's okay, Ben, so we can actually still hear you and it's too cute. So it's nice to hear life. <laughs> that's what I mean by like the stuff that's kind of, kind of like protected or otherwise that's in image spec currently could could take some rearranging and otherwise that's this is what I'm alluding to and like this is why it's you know protected is because it's what's like broadly implemented and collaborated on even if it's confusing that it's in an image spec repo and it's actually could be like two different things like two different concepts one that's more container related you know it, process container related packaging versus the content distribution side of you know those those things um regardless uh so that's like yes one kind of restructuring conversation mike like you you mentioned but how to how to like uh effectively move forward in in, in what could be container you know a container config related manifest versus a general config manifest and not breaking Not breaking what's already out there um, is what uh, should be in a working group. It should be, uh, you know, like, uh, are we in agreement that effectively what, like, this reference types and generic manifest, generic artifact manifest should be in a working group? Um, so, some amount of success criteria around it, some amount of like identifying how it overlaps or what it means for the different specs or if it means massaging out to where there's like a new new place for this kind of manifest to live that should be a working group with like success criteria around it and that's the part where if if you need that sooner than later if it's not just a renaming of efforts that are going into the artifacts repo now but then um that effectively it means it's blocked on getting this TOB pool 99 out there and then just like proposing something um, and then getting that proposal like out there and repo created. Uh, so that's, that's that, of... that I'm just I'm just trying to build build the concept in my mind of like how to how to move these conversations forward so that we at least could see how how to get this stuff in or at least allow a, a place effectively a place to start working on this proof of concept for sooner than later so it doesn't look like it's just sliding in under the existing artifacts like scope I, look, I, we there, there's the, 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 should, should we should we call for a vote on the amendment to the charter for working groups um, I saw that Wilson, the Wilson person made a bunch of responses to comments. I haven't gone through those yet. Um, so, you know, I felt like in the last week, there's been a lot of iterations on that. Uh, it probably would be good to time box that to say, get all your comments in or otherwise, and if there's no blockers, then we can vote within whatever, seven to 10 days. Winslow, thank you. Not Wilson. I think that might help resolve the questions that we have around when are we going to have working groups if, if we set a deadline for voting on this thing. Because then we'll know by the deadline whether or not we're going to have working groups in the charter. I, mean, I think we should do that regardless. I, I want to, um, like, I'm hoping we can do that. Uh, unfortunately, I, it's like, unless, again, it, it, the time it takes for that, if we're going to continue comments, and I'm not saying we shouldn't, that'll take some time. In the, and there's, 
the least of bad options, if you will, you know, if, uh, you know, curious what others think, but if we were to rename artifacts to be WG-artifacts, and we kept the maintainers of the artifact the way it was, that, in other words, the, you know, the owners there, um, is there a concern about us merging 29 into that part and making sure that the media types had, whatever it is that we can say to convey WG or whatever to, to reference that in the manifest types or whatever it is that we define. If that's the path of least resistance that, and it's the less of the, all bad choices, that's something I could see doing. Because when I say less of bad choices, the alternatives that we do something outside of OCI. And I, that's not my choice, but I just, I don't know what else to do at this point. So if that was an amenable thing and we're not constantly blocked on endless PR feedback that should iterate, but sometimes it can iterate after it's merged, then I'd be okay with that. But I'm open to ideas. I think the only thing that even, even I think the only thing now that having had this kind of discussion, which is exactly what it's here for, is that even even renaming it WG artifacts and it would be some amount of a regression of like now you see this like oh this is not it's official easy. stuff that is currently being you know worked through and it kind of reverts past efforts is that that also that renaming does not accomplish having established like success criteria of this new spec we're working out. Um, and so I think in, in my mind, it, no, it, it, the proof of concept work doesn't just go somewhere else because, you know, effectively that should be the point of open governments is that it, it works here. And it typically means that there's, there's more deliberation, unfortunately, but I, I, I think the proof of concept could and should have a place in like a working group here. Uh, granted, you're, 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 you're filling your own timelines. I think even let's, uh, how, how's this as a proposal um, then based on the conversation we've had? Um, like you first said, leave artifacts as is, Will I, will I expect to have like a, a working group for the place to work on kind of like the spec and what that reach, what that touches on and like proof of concepts like as a different repo. The based on effectively to look at this as like a Gantt chart, the critical path, even though this TOB pool 99 is not merged or you know it's like not solidified the kind of like template proposal of like oh here's a working group here's the success criteria what here's the kind of a T tldr abstract of it um given that you've already worked on this pull request 99 uh, 29 artifacts pull 29 you kind of already, already know that that one paragraph abstract and Here's who all is involved. Here's kind of like the, the reaching implications of it as far as the spec would go and kind of like success criteria. And so as I think we could have a timeline vote on this, like close out this pool 99, it's been open for months now. Well, right now. Just me. There, that, was, that was on you, Brown. Um, we could, we could, have kind of like a proposal ready for this working group kind of model immediately and close that out and then like be off the races and like your the critical path could be pretty well lined up there and then we could like that would allow us to leave artifacts as it is it's like a way to track these different media types and like who's using them and how to use them and then we could have a separate like actual working group place for proof of concept of success criteria um effectively then we get everything we everything we're talking about here the only thing that's to be governed is the timelines at play and how that affects affects 
you and you know the different folks that are like trying to collaborate on this proof of concept under under an open governance model. Between the smiling of the sound of the kids, I'm, I'm, it sounded good. I'm trying to figure out what the concrete actions is. Do you want to do a quick bullet point summary of what you were saying there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I can't type and write. Uh, type, type, type and talk at the same time. Leave artifacts. Effectively put together a working group proposal based on the templates that are set out in the TOB pool 99 for this. Yep, we actually science. have one out. Right. So I'm just saying, like, based on this kind of like new working group model that's soon to be solidified, put a timeline, vote for like getting all comments in so we can get TOB pool 99 merged, say, you know, 10 days or something like that, two working weeks. Open the proposal for this working group, you know, and assume uh, assume that they'd have some kind of timeline around like getting this proposal out embedded or otherwise. And then the next step after that would be like, cool. This is like already something we've been talking about, so it should have enough momentum to then we the next step agree on the agree on the working group and its success criteria. Open up the repo. And then that moves what is pool 90, pool 29, artifacts pool 29 over. So to me, so it doesn't that's, merge that's like, to merge into the new thing, whatever the, the new thing. Yeah. And that, that, that way we can actually kind of disambiguate the fact of like, here's this table of artifacts, media types versus like extensions to specs and possible rearranging and massaging of specs. With like success criteria. That's like a critical path in my mind. And yeah, the only thing that potentially could stand to suffer is if those things, you know, like without at any, with any amount of slack, like that could be the most critical path piece there, but it could still mean like a couple of months or whatever, but it just could be governed. Like it could be tighter than two, a couple of months, but I'm just saying. What's like, a couple I mean, of months you lost me there to get this in place? Well, I'm just trying to think like if, if like the slack and like, in those those kind of critical in, in those things those those bullet points it could it, it, I can't tell the futures like what I'm trying to say like we could all try and no, but I'm trying to find be, be in agreement on no, I'm sorry I said a couple months I'm just trying to be realistic about like timelines like how quick it could happen but not get your hopes up that it's going to happen like it, by the end of July like like we could get some of that done I thought the re, you know Well, let me let me just try to help because like yeah, I'm literally talking like the next day or two we need a workplace to work. So what I wasn't sure is if you're saying the working group would be defined and we would create the repo and give it a couple of months to evolve to a point, or we're saying before we can even create the repo and the place to work, it'll be a couple of months, a month or more. Like if if it's even two weeks, then what I just say is that that's okay. Let's just do the parallel effort. We'll start the artifacts work in another public location. And we'll keep this thing going, and then whenever it's ready, like we're we would build it so, as, so that it can be donated to OCI. Like it's always been that way; it'll always be that way. Meaning that there'll be a specs because there'll probably be a couple of repos for some of the things that are being proposed. There will be a specs repo that'll conform to what OCI currently does today. Whether it has Go libraries or not, there's interesting challenges there. But it'll be a specs repo for the artifact spec. That would be set up so that it can be donated to OCI. Um, I think the challenge is some of the actual strings, whether OCI is in it or the, the, another project name is in it. Um, and then if this thing's taking a week, two weeks, six weeks, then when that's done, we can switch it over. The challenge will be on some of the media types and some of the strings. Once we start shipping it for customers to use, we, we can't change it. Like some of these things can be a string change and I just say, you know, Saja, hey, we got to, change the string, no customer content is stored on it yet, so we don't care. We have to roll it out, that's a challenge, but that's fine. Once we roll it out and customers start using it, then we're locked for that release or that version, if you will. So I, I really am not trying to force any timely decision that I'm just saying, we have to make a decision, we have to move. 
it's, it is something we've been working. You know, this isn't like, hey, by the way, surprise, we're showing up today. We need a decision by the end of the day. Like we have been talking about this since this iteration of February, or I can't remember when it was. Um, so if we think it's realistic, it's going to take a couple of weeks, then that's okay. Let's let's do this as two parallel efforts, and we'll see if we can convert them. I just don't want it to be a surprise that we do, you know, we do put the artifact spec in a in an open governance place while this is happening. I got you. Um, I'm, does anybody else remember conversations around having like repos that were clearly marked experimental? Yeah, I mean, I, if it's marked experimental, that's fine. It's the TOB has to approve it, right? Like, mm -hmm. it, I think we're, I think we, I think the real danger is if if you mark it experimental and then you release a spec from it and it's an OCI spec now and then when uh, Microsoft and AWS say hey we're implementing the OCI spec and then OCI says well no it's an experimental spec it'll just be confusing that's I think that's the the main uh, issue like some but, kind of graduation process or yeah otherwise. yeah but like do we do we have a, a formal incubator process now like that we no. never built that in like this project was really this project was tiny it was like no. 10 people yeah. versus like say cncf which was thousands people. of people now right like so it's uh we just we just didn't build this in because every you know just the, the size of it is so much more smaller um so the what we do risk here though is the draft spec being so like i don't know if anybody's familiar with amq uh, amqp is that right um they never went, so they released 09 and then, uh, and it ha had like a exchanges and queues and an interesting model. And then they had 1.0 spec, which was like unintelligible. It was like nodes and taps and very complicated. And nobody ever used 1.0 I and mean, they just always used 09. And that's what, if you work with like uh, AMQP protocol, that's what you do today. So, um, you know, and just like, you know, like with Docker, right? Like, uh, you know the what you know largely what was done in the uh in, in that implementation is what's in the spec today and there's all sorts of stuff in there so what gets shipped is going to end up being the spec so yeah <laughs> sam experimental all caps unless that's an acronym for something um somebody can come up with an acronym for experimental that'd be great i'm not uh, trying to make an acronym it just makes it super <laughs> obvious that it's not no, i know i just anything I just, finalized <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, so yeah, that yeah, that would be a possibility. But yeah, I mean, like, like that that's the only thing is if if you ship it, it's that's it. Right. People will use it. And then like I'm going through the I, I hadn't looked at 29 in detail. I see a couple of mistakes being carried from the old Docker stuff that are still there. And um, if that's what we're shipping, you know, we're gonna have to we're not gonna be able to use this to kind of get around those mistakes. Make sense. I mean, without drilling into the details of what mistakes I mean, this is why we do want to do it, you know, in a shared place so that those mistakes can be caught. Like if we're yeah, off yeah. in some other project, like do you even know to look at it? And um, because we 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 don't want to ship mistakes, we want to learn. We had this conversation the other day around uh, uh, a paging API that actually turned out to be on ACR because it doesn't exist in distribution. So we had to create one. And we made our own mistake, and you know it's all part of learning. But we'd like we'd like to be in as open a place that we can get feedback. But at the same token, as we're getting feedback, we have the ability to say, like, okay, appreciate the feedback, but we are going to move forward because we have we can't just be stopped on every last you know question. We want to be able to ship things that we know might not be perfect, but it's good enough for us to learn to make the next steps. I'm not trying to pick on the whatever it is that you, I don't even know which stick issues you're talking about. It doesn't matter. My point is, is that that's part of this working group thing model that I want to make sure we have in place is there's a set of maintainers, I hate the word maintainers now, of collaborators, owners that um, are focused on a common goal and are trying to move forward. We want to be open to take all feedback. But we want to have the ability to make decisions to move forward. Steve, I think that is what the governance structure is about. Like with the existing specs, we have maintainers. The maintainers can make decisions. And with the working groups where the proposal is to have owners and those owners can make decisions too. 
it's not about like you know every bit of feedback is going to stop everything but it's it is also you know everyone's going to value the feedback that's there but at the end of the day the the owners of the working group or the maintainers of the spec they they get to make the decision on what goes forward perfect So five minutes, what's our, what's our action item next steps? I think we should call a vote for the 29. I don't know if we need to- uh, 29 or 99? That's TOB session, or uh, 99? Uh, the artifacts PR or the TOB uh, working group 99, or there is- a oh, sorry, the working group. Yeah, the TOB thing. Yeah, the TOB thing. Yeah, because from the my TOB impression, group. yeah, that, that that opens the door for us to have the PR to establish uh, to establish the repository in a standard way that we can all agree on. Uh, I also agree with just creating a new repo, not not moving the artifacts. Just leave it as it is, since we already voted on that. It'd be complicated to go back on that. I paste the two in Slack. I'll paste them in. Sorry, in in Zoom. I'll paste them in the Slack as well. There's there's basically we we wrote one up as here's what the reference type working group could look like, and then ninety nine is here's what working groups as a whole look like. Um, so I, I, we can vote on either or both. For uh, ninety nine with the working groups, there's a couple of open comments on there. Do we want to try and get those addressed before we vote on it, or are we at this point ready to start voting on it? We could vote and then address those in follow-ups as well, because some of them are adding restrictions. They're not necessarily changing the rules um, I've seen. So some of them are expansion. So we, we could vote. It's, it seems like, yeah, it, it's kind of, if, if it's like going to be another like month before like iterating, I, I think it's better we just all get together and, and vote on it. Do you want to do a TOB call for that, or do you just want to set like a deadline to vote on the pull request? Uh, either one. If if we think that we need to come up with action items or like follow ups, then we can do something synchronous. But uh, like I I agree with the feedback about having multiple owners from multiple orgs. That that seems uh, that seems reasonable for OCI. Um, some other stuff there was some discussion that we, we could address later as well. And then Steve, it, you know, as far as like, <clears throat> you work in it on an outside somewhere, you know, outside of OCI, if it's not tomorrow. Uh, I think that's, that's kind of like, should be uh, effectively a parallel effort and whether that means something that's donated or effectively just continuing on like a path that's like here's a proper working group proposal and what it means for imply you know affects the existing specs based on what we've learned in this outside effort then if that is what is needed for your critical path and perhaps that's that's the case but i, I do think having Having the artifacts repo be, this is how different media types, like here's here's what to do with different media types, you know, so implementers, and then anything that's actually spec related becomes its own working group. Um, go through the, we get this pool 99, TOB pool 99 figured out and then open a proposal for a working group of what specs is completely parallel to the proof of concept. I want. I would love for the proof of concept to happen under a working group, but it's, it sounds like that's pretty obviously not in in your, you know, your efforts timeline. So those things can be parallel. Agreed. Working groups can take in already existing external efforts. I mean, that's what OCI has done in the past. So I don't. I don't also, think it's 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 bad to have a starting point there. That's already already some working stuff. Okay. 
So practically next, what are the very specific next steps? Vote on 99, that's what I'm hearing. And then based on the vote of 99, we would create a, a, a repo with yet to be named thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> based on but vote, vote on 99. Open working group proposal, success criteria, and all that kind of jazz. Then from the output of opening a proposal for that working group would be the creating repo, you know, and so iterations and stuff like that. Okay. Am I wrong? I, it sounds good. That sounds right to me. Because I don't okay. want to create any more pressure on the feedback and time that the whatever the wrong decision outcome it is. I think what I'd like to do is let's put artifacts in a place that has neutral governance and make it very clear this will is intended to be donated to OCI. This is a place to do the incubation while that process happens. And those efforts work in parallel. Then we can make progress in a place that and this process can have its 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 uh time to do the right thing. I, I, I feel like I'm just trying to unlock the engineering team with while I disappear or just it, whether i'm on vacation or not i need to make sure that we're making progress why so not propose the first working group inside of 99 and get that done in one fell swoop so 96 is I, defined i think there, i would right? recommend against doing that doing it as a single thing because we might end up delaying 99 as a whole just to have conversations over the specifics of the working group proposal well what what if you go do the working group proposal in 99 get that all in and then you make the first working group and then it's hung up on some problem with 99. i mean we can we can iterate the charter that's that's that shouldn't okay. be an issue yeah all right i thought that would be faster but if you want to do it separate that's fine too i mean i think we will need to iterate it at some point but yeah it's, we we could we could just keep iterating on 99 forever i mean it's it's, it's a hard one Very good discussion. So let's let's actually like post a timeline on ninety nine and actually get those comments in. Thank you, folks. I really appreciate everybody's effort pulling this together. For sure. All right, we're three minutes over. Um, I, I see. I still see some people making comments on the the notes, but feel free to add your notes and takeaways on the the hack and D. All right, bye everybody.